Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you could join us. Yes, my friends, this world is passing away. And you know, there are times where we want to go out in nature and just meditate and just hear the quietness. But still, our minds are rushing, uh, missing the world back there, the stuff, the things, the busyness. It's really difficult. You know, uh, David writes in Psalms 1, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, but in his law does he meditate day and night. He shall be like the rivers planted by the rivers of the water. That's right. We don't want to walk in the counsel of the ungodly. He says there's blessings when we're able to meditate on God's word, to be able to get out, or get away from all the busyness and leave it behind. I know it sounds hard, but it is possible. We should meditate each and every day. Meditate on his word. And meditating is taking it in, bringing it back up. Taking it in, bringing it back up. We are to meditate on God's word, on his word. Yes, we're chasing after a lot of stuff, but you know what? Just listen to what uh, the Bible says in 1 John chapter 2 and verse 17. He says, you know what, the world uh, and its desires, they're going to pass away. They are passing away. But whoever does the will of God lives forever. Whoever does the will of God lives forever. The desires of the flesh, of the eyes, of the pride of life, all of this stuff is not from God. You know, when we uh, became Christians, we were born again. The Spirit of God lives inside of us. But the flesh never was saved. And that's why we're going to receive new bodies uh, when Christ comes back and take us with, with him. But right now, the flesh is doing battle with the spirit. And so the flesh has these desires of the world. And that's what he's talking about in the Bible when he says the desires of the flesh, the eyes of the pride of life, and from the, are not from the Father. The flesh, the things that the flesh wants is not from the Father. Well, listen what it says in Proverbs uh, 6 and verse 16. It says, these seven things God hates. God hates these things. A proud look. That's right. A lying tongue. You know, hands that shed innocent blood. A heart that devises wicked imaginations. Feet that are swift running to mischief. And a false witness who speaks lies. Those who sow discord among brethren. God hates these things. And these are the things of the world. My friends, there are times when we want to get away. But you know what? We don't always have to come out in nature. We can do that at home. Find you a quiet place where you can study and meditate and hear what God is saying to you personally. God is speaking through his word and he wants to reach each one of us. But the noise and the busyness of this world constantly pulling us. Even when we come out and we get away, we're still thinking about being in the world, the things that we need to do, the things that we have to do. But the Bible tells us these things are perishing. They're going to be gone one day. The only thing that will last forever is the Word of God and those who have trusted in Him. And that's what we want to do, my friends. We want to be mindful of that every day as we live in this world. Yes, there's so much happening. Life is happening. It's happening to everyone. No one is immune from troubles and problems and trials and tests. They just continue to come. They come. They come at us. And it seems like when those things start to come at us, we've got one mission in life, and that is to be comforted and, and find convenience away from those things. But Jesus says, in this world, you will have trouble. But take heart. He says he has overcome the world. Jesus has overcome the world. So how do we find peace? In him. Jesus tells his disciples, he says, my peace I leave with you, but not as the world uh, sees peace. See, the, the world sees peace as everything going my way. No trouble, no trials, no tests, no problems. I just wake up every day and everything falls in the place. But that is not reality, my friends. That's why we trust God. 
in everything that we do, we want to please and seek Him. But I really encourage you to find quiet time, some time where you can just be alone, studying His Word and hearing what God is saying to you personally. But I do want to encourage that you get with other believers, faithful believers, those who love the Word, who want to follow Christ, and you're going to know who they are. Yes, fun and games, that's great. I like to play and have fun. But to want that all the time, and that's what some people want. That's what people see their religion as, a religious club where all we do is have fun and we play. But that's not uh, so for the believer living in a world that's full of trials and tests and problems, and they're constantly coming our way. No one is immune from trouble and trials and tests and problems. We all have them. That's why it is so important that we study his word and we hear what God is saying to us always. Like David says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Who's the ungodly? The world. Because the world is in rebellion against God. But he says his delight, this is what the man of God loves. His delight is in the law of the Lord. It's in God's word. And he says, because his delight is in his word, he meditates on it day and night. And he says he's going to be like a tree planted by the rivers of the water that bringeth forth its fruit in its season. Uh, Solomon says there's a season for everything that takes place. There's a time for everything. There'll be times we'll be sad. There'll be times we'll be happy. There'll be times of joy. There'll be times of sorrow. There are, these are just seasons that we go through. But we want to continue to trust Him, my friends. It is so important that you are able to meditate on His Word and really hear what God is saying to you personally. God is speaking. He wants to reach you so that He can work through you, work through us to make His appeal to the world. Time is running out. I know a lot of people don't believe that, but the Bible tells us it's running out and the desires of the world and the flesh is going to come to an end. And I look forward to that day when our Lord Jesus rules and we're able to rule with him. Peace in this world. Don't you look forward to that? I love it when that day comes. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101 as we talk more about these things. Thank you, my friends.